How's it going, everybody? Welcome to a brand new episode of Crypto Clout Nihau. And of course, today we'll be talking about Cardano, uh, the most decentralized system in the world. And um, I think that that's not really a bold claim. I think that's more of a factual claim. And I think that ultimately, right now, I mean, we're watching Bitcoin sort of crawl out of the mud. Um, it's currently at the $7,400. $27 uh, valuation at the time of making this video, uh, but all that sort of just par for the course, and I still expect to see sort of a drop. Um, I mean, I don't think that the days of a $6,000 Bitcoin are um, it, it completely in the rear view yet, um, but ultimately, I think that it's important to keep your eyes on the prize at a time like this. Remember that accumulation is probably one of the most important things uh, you know, in the cryptocurrency game, uh, and of course, uh, I mean, we've got a lot of crypto is on sale right now. Um, Cardano at uh, you know, a little bit over three cents. Um, I mean, definitely a very interesting time. And it will be interesting to see people, uh, you know, when we're actually looking at higher prices for these cryptos. I mean, we've got a Ethereum at 132 and, uh, you know, the, the broader cryptocurrency space, um, you know, coming in at a very interesting time right now. Um, so, I mean, it will be interesting to see. Um, but more importantly, I think that I want to just dedicate this video to speaking on the concept of uh, Cardano um, and how they've essentially been able to establish themselves in developing countries. Uh, now, more importantly, I think that it's important to talk about uh, what most people overlook, I would consider to be like Africa. Um, you know, these parts of the world where there's actually the uh, the fastest growing population in the world. Uh, I mean, the fact of the matter is that the, the cold hard truth is that um, you know, the United States states and all these other um, different powers of the world are um, in their powers in decline uh, and the real purpose of this video is to talk to you about how uh, you know, population is really the future. Uh, I mean, it, it's where we're going to be seeing uh, a lot of these. And of course, I, I would make this uh, opportunity right now to solidify another one of my famous predictions, which of course is the fact that as we see, um, you know, more importantly, the uh, red tape in a lot of these different, um, what would be quote unquote called uh, first world countries, uh, you know, of course, the red tape that we have, that we see established in a lot of these different areas areas um, it is uh, ultimately going to be uh, very interesting to see um, you know especially when we imagine the fact that uh, the, these uh, different areas of the world uh, which you know essentially don't have that red tape will be able to fast track uh, you know cryptocurrencies and be able to outperform while a lot of these other uh, you know quote unquote first world parts of the world are going to be struggling over regulations and all these other things um, you know which will essentially be uh, pretty big big, um, you know, um, in, in terms of, uh, you know, just holding them back. Uh, and I think that it will be interesting to see, uh, you know, so of course, uh, you know, the number of pools uh, in, a, in a, on the Cardano Shelly Testnet, um, and, you know, this is uh, interesting, um, you know, exceeds 400. Um, you know, we hit the 500 by the end of the year. Um, I mean, uh, this is something that people were waiting on the edge of their seats to see. Um, but of course, I do want to talk about, uh, you know, what's next for the Bitcoin blockchain. This is an interesting, um, a little article right here by a top developer. Uh, you know, so, of course, uh, while many in the crypto industry focus only on the momentary, uh, you know, the monetary aspects, uh, you know, moment to moment of Bitcoin, um, the cryptocurrency and its respective blockchain have a uh, technical side too, a uh, side that isn't often focused on. Uh, John um, Newberry, a developer of Bitcoin centric development from uh, Chain Code Labs, recently broke down um, where the, uh, you know, expect. Uh, uh, you know, the network's technical development uh, tra trajectory to head next, um, which I think is also an important thing to bring up while we're nearing the end of the decade. Uh, I mean, it's going to be interesting to see. Um, and of course, I'd also make a you know, prediction right now, uh, you know, in, in, in alignment with uh, the whole where we can actually expect to see this next decade taking um, blockchain technology. Uh, so first off, he remarks that uh, in the upcoming years, he expects uh, for Bitcoin's Lightning Network, um, you know, which is already functional in the real world to see rapid development, citing work being done by blockchain uh, lightning labs and other development firms um, to quote together, uh, you know, taken together, those technologies will make a channel and uh, liquidity management much easier. Uh, they'll be automated, uh, fade into the background and user experience will improve drastically. Um, 
And I think that it will be interesting to see, uh, you know, how a lot of the different variables of the cryptocurrency space, uh, you know, if anyone tries to accuse Bitcoin of being centralized, uh, would Satoshi jump on Twitter to defend it? No, that is decentralization. We don't care. Uh, That's a funny tweet right there by CZ Binance. You guys should probably go and follow him. If you know what's good for you. This is also a funny uh, article uh, right here to end the year. Uh, now, of course, we've got um, you now Bitcoin declared dead uh, you now 350 plus times uh, 2020 update, uh, and I'm sure that it's not the end of. Uh, I mean, we we do see a lot of. Uh, false uh you know news a lot of uh, sort of bullshit that gets uh put around um but i think that it will be interesting to see how uh cryptocurrency and, and the broader development of the space continue and i think uh cardano really is um up next you know as far as uh when we want to see uh you know the future of all these different things uh making these developments uh, i mean my focus really is on um actual uh you know crypto assets um, that you know will be uh you know on the up and coming uh, and the fact that cardano has been able to establish itself um you know in such an interesting way is definitely going to be uh you know pretty significant i would say um you know as we see cryptocurrency being more um taken seriously by um, you know the boomers um and of course the internet generation and uh, very much gen x gen z uh you now pretty much um, it's going to affect everybody's lives uh and i mean i stand fast to my prediction that uh, you know, accountants uh, and all these other uh, business sort of fields will be on their way out. I mean, if you're an accountant and you're not paying attention to cryptocurrency, it's very much like if you were a horse trainer um, and you weren't paying attention to when the automobile was being created. Uh, the fact of the matter is that uh, in a very short amount of time, uh, you know, we will be seeing that old adage, um, which of course is, uh, you know, back in the day when the automobile was created, people uh, were like, well, we have perfectly good horses to get us around. Uh, the automobile won't be able to, uh, you know, have very much a success. And then look at where we are today. Um, and, and in the very um, much the broader sense, in the next decade, we're going to be seeing uh, the clock ticking um, on a lot of these different things. And it's going to be very interesting to see, uh, you know, where we actually can expect to see a lot of um, the future of the rapidly developing internet, um, you know, the internet of things. Uh, and, and in a broader sense, we're going to be seeing a very interesting um, shift in the overall dynamics of uh, what people expect from uh, finance and of course how the overlay of uh, you know technology uh, and all these other things are going to be ba basically um, you know coming in and it's going to be a rude awakening for a lot of people who've attached themselves um, you know at the hip to the old paradigm and uh, really it's difficult for people to imagine what change um, so I would say by 2022 uh, we'll be seeing more uh, you know, people considering Bitcoin for their uh, retirement portfolios. Uh, and I would say by the end of this decade, uh, I mean, this video will be a pretty interesting historical uh, account. Um, you know, of course, Bitcoin dominance currently is 68.5%, still relatively high, um, but I wouldn't expect that to necessarily. I mean, there, there is a big piece of the pie um, that I would say does have potential to be spread around across um, you know, the broader sense of uh, the cryptocurrency space. Space. Um, but of course, you know, when we want to talk about content creation, um, we look no further than, um, you know, the projects uh, like Tron. Um, definitely interesting. I mean, the future of banking, uh, sort of in uh, the way of uh, XRP, more in the line of like Stellar. We want to talk about credit cards. Um, you know, and of course, we talk about uh, what we would call, you know, the privacy technologies, which I would say uh, is one of the more unsung heroes of the past decade and will continue to be, um, you know, as especially we see a lot of these different things that will be happening, um, you know, in terms of, uh, you know, the monopoly on transactions um, and a lot of these different things. And I mean, people really don't necessarily necessarily realize that there's a problem until they need a solution and I think the cryptocurrency is one of those um, very interesting spaces that uh, you know the smartest um, and the most capable people all around the world are paying attention to and I would say you know on my list of uh, you know cryptos that does have um, potential I would include digibyte uh, I would definitely say that digibyte is one of those cryptocurrencies that um, you know is what a really unsung hero of the blockchain um, you know the sort of forgotten um, early stages and you have to consider consider um, how spread across the world it is and I would say that as we see uh, popularity of uh, such cryptos as Bitcoin and um, you know the broader sense uh, you know the larger 
uh, crypto space, uh, you know, in that overall context, will be very interesting to see how a lot of these different things continue to shape up. So, I mean, just in a general sense, those are my ideas, um, thoughts, uh, predictions going into 2020 uh, and you know, the next decade. Uh, yeah, but let me know in the comments down below what you guys think. And I'll see you guys next video. Have a good one.